Hello. Right. Welcome to Speedy Liminal. Oh, give me just a second. Okay, there we go. Yeah, welcome to Speedy Liminal. We got a, a round one match here uh, between Tenobo and Pushing Hat. Uh, and I also have my co commentator here, Osmorn. Hello. Yo, what's up? I'm Osborn. Yeah. I'm the uh, lead organizer for this tournament, and I'm very glad to be here with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Gelly. Is this how you always introduce yourself? Yes. With all your accolades? And then... I need to. <laughs> I need to make myself feel oh, important. We're going already. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. These matches start <laughs> super fast every time. All right, now we're... It was no speaking. time to breathe. That's quite all right. Um... So yeah, this is induction. Welcome. I I never know what to say in induction because induction. Okay, on the one hand, induction mm -hmm. is always one of these levels that, you know, it, you, it's it's a filter, right? You can have people pulling off 145s and then you have people pulling off two minutes, and that's like a 15 second difference. But it, there's not like a lot that you can point to and say, yeah, there it is. That's the 15 seconds. It's just a lot of small stuff. It's spinning around fast and stuff like that, which. It makes it hard to commentate personally, especially because we're working with a little bit of delay with each of these uh, mm. players here. So I'm just going to say it, induction, really boring, and uh, I mean, no, I'm going like, for the rest of the level. No, for, okay, we can just be silent for the rest of the level, is that what you want? Yeah, go for it. No, but an actual, in, in reality. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Yeah, I, you should have stuck to your guns. You're such a coward. No, that's fun. I am um, a coward. You're right. No, but in reality, <laughs> I do actually think um, that induction is unironically like one of the hardest levels in this game. Oh, it's absolutely. A, it, it's not just because it's the first level, but also it's 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 so precise, so accurate. Like, and you can just see that based off like how many strats that were cut, like people came up with when A Rock started to be in this community, um, and so it's. It's such a reset heavy level and to see people be optimized at it like a lot of people give themselves crap for having really bad beginning games but like unironically ooh, ooh. Uh oh well oh, it doesn't okay. it's, time. A it's a time loss <laughs> it's a time loss either way so it's fine uh, like unironically this is a very hard level and i give prompt slow two or even a sub two induction that is like you need to give yourself credit for that that is good mm-hmm Especially in a marathon setting, um, right? Which I think I've seen a couple of times. It's remarkable mm -hmm. to see that because it's so reset heavy. But we've got what two o two two o five between the two runners here. So yeah, only around three seconds apart so far. Rather close matchup. Rather close matchup. Exactly. Um, and then we're working with optical. Another one of these levels that sort of has a lot of small optimizations. Where I mean, there's a couple of small things will be coming up on the first one. Uh, the I mean, that's the sign kind of the... rotation. Yeah. But that's that's kind of like the nature of just glitchless stuff. It's mainly optimizations and movements, and I feel like optical, optical, cubism, and blackout are really really good examples of that. Like all three. Oh, white space is probably the most brutal of all of them, and that that's just yeah. walking in straight lines for a really long time. I mean, mm -hmm. resetting checkpoint to say because you're like oh one bigger. The problem, the problem is that like even if you get really, really good at them. There's always going to be a little bit of like invisible time loss that you mm -hmm. get when you when you run like glitchless categories or like very movement or optimization heavy categories like glitchless, for example. Um, yeah. and there's just stuff like you can do everything really, really well, but say that you turned the corner like like a, a millisecond or two later than you normally did, or your line isn't as straight as it was in the run before, mm -hmm. like stuff like that, and that will away at milliseconds and perhaps you can even get incredible times with it but there's always going to be like those moments where you're just you're just always going to lose a little bit of time there's always some kind of thing you can improve and to have a perfect movement like that you can't really achieve it unless you're a test so absolutely i mean as a couple of examples i think we've seen like small problems like uh pushing took like a little bit of extra time to get on that ledge there after turning around or uh, Tenobo, I think, didn't quite make it up a ledge in one of the earlier rooms, and it's uh, it's difficult to be able to say, oh, geez, you know, d bad luck for X runner or Y runner for losing point two seconds yeah, on exactly. <laughs> jumping on the painting. Mm -hmm. What a what a what a shame! No, it's just it's just a lot of small work. I mean, I guess the nature of most of these matches, 
I mean, I, me personally, I've only commented on two duo beatdowns, but mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of these matches are basically whoever makes the least mistakes, which is brutal, but that's just how glitchless be. Who sees the day? Six yeah, number exactly. Final. What's the Latin because like in, in, in warpless and any percent you can argue like oh like the warp wasn't high enough or the, the or like the warp didn't put you in the right spot or the launch wasn't high enough or like something that like the game just didn't want to agree with you with and then it just the game screws you over like you can blame the game in certain parts of those categories but when it comes to glitchless categories especially in this game i feel like whatever mistakes you make whatever goes wrong in your speed run you have no one to blame but yourself which is, I think, both a good thing and a bad thing. A good thing because, like, you always know when you can improve a bad thing because, like, you can't just be like, oh, I, I you can't just blame the game and move on with your day, you know? It depends. There's a couple of, there's some jank in this game. I don't know if you've noticed, but back when I was playing, I mean, there might, they might have fixed some of this stuff, but, like, certain ledges in this game, especially on certain FPSs, although I don't know if it's a problem we all encounter in Glitchless quite as much, but if you jump on a ledge and you're slightly too far away, you slip off of it without grabbing the ledge, and you just don't grab the ledge at all, and it feels like the game screwed you out of that more than anything else. And that's just a ledge grab. That isn't anything super complicated, either. So, yeah, there, there's, a, there's a couple of small janky things in this game like that. Never encountered that ever. Really, that might just be a high FPS thing, and I'm just remembering stuff mm -hmm. weird. But there's, oh, like there's, the, there's the, like a, the... Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's the, the, the launch that you have in the corner, that's definitely, like, more of a higher FPS thing. It happens more people who don't have V-Sync on. Yes, which usually you do want to have V-Sync on for, for Blackout. It happens all the time. Yeah, that the, the, the ledge slip thing, I think it's, like... Mm -hmm. If you're further back, you'll always get the ledge grab, and if you're closer, you'll land on it, but there's like a little range in between where you'll like slip off the ledge and it's whack. And like, here's the thing, I, I was watching, I was reading the minimum grabs, like, text or channel, and, you know, I was talking about how there was like certain strats in the dollhouse Jenga tower room, where you can purposefully do that, but you need to have like a really, really high FPS in order to launch high enough to get through the wind, through the door into the window room. And when I heard her say that, I was just like, how in the world can you ever purposefully get a corner launch? I get that only by accident, and even when I try to recreate it, I'm like, no, like how, how can you purposefully recreate a corner launch and have it be viable in a speedrun? That's just, that's just yeah. not something I can comprehend. <laughs> We have a 10 second difference between the runners, by the way. There is a match going on, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, uh, Pusheen is behind by 10 seconds. I'm trying to use the pronunciation they, they put up. Um, I'm mm -hmm. doing a real awful job of it because mm -hmm. uh, you can't pronounce anything. It's right. okay, I wrote, I wrote that pronunciation sheet at 2 a.m. Oh, okay. In there. Um, I mean... I, I think, think for the most part I got it right. I think the yeah, that's right. These two aren't particularly complicated names. It's Tenorbo and Pushin have mm -hmm. emphasis on Push instead of Ian. Uh, blackout went. So the time lineup, okay. So the loading times make it look like they're actually really close, but there is there is a ten second difference between them. Yeah, RTA they're pretty they're RTA they're pretty close to each other, but the IGT is what really matters, of course. Mm hmm Yeah. So it's neck and neck, quote unquote, but Tenobo has a leg up for no other reason than loading time. I find it interesting I find it interesting that um Um that when it comes to Tenobo, he started walking backwards before the cooler room, and then pushing started walking backwards after the cooler room. I don't actually think it matters all that much. It, sh it shouldn't it make a difference. It shouldn't make a difference. Um, Let's see how they do blind maze, though. Yep. Both of them happening at the same time. Uh, pushing, getting a bit of a struggle getting in first. Yep. Oh, yep. he got it. He got it. Tenobo having a really good one. There it is. And Pushin not too far behind, maybe. Uh, yes, there, there it is. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. I I really want to. How do they? I wonder how they do that because I, there's a visual way and there's an auditory way. Um, uh, isn't the auditory way based on steps or, or something like it that? It is based on I've, steps. Personally, I dislike that. I don't use it. Totally understandable. I think, I think the visual way of like turning your quality settings down and then seeing a little bit of like a horizontal line of light to position yourself. Uh, I think that that's easier. I think that that's faster. Although huge respects for anyone that wants to stick to the audio, audio, auditory way. Because I used to 
uh, do that when I first started to be writing the game, and it would just be really inconsistent for me, and then I switched over to, like, the visual way, and I was just like, I got it, like, every single time at that point. Right. It was great. 9083 versus 923 for Pusheen, so Pusheen lost some time mm -hmm. in Blackout Maze, I assume. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Again, that's a sticking point for a lot of runs, is, is the Blind Maze. Um, although... I haven't seen anybody not do it in a in a race. Everyone seems to know how to do it. I never Actually, learned. If you if you saw us and uh, because I had on a new PC and so in my first um, seating match, we had actually had to go to three because I didn't have like all my settings set, and so I got lost in blind maze because I couldn't see the visual cue. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And I was just like, that's what I get for not like taking the time ahead and actually configuring all of my settings to be prepared for the race. I'm surprised you wouldn't have had that ahead of time, especially if you were doing practice. Unless you just I wasn't doing practice. <laughs> okay, well, that'll do it. Oh, single clock with that bad of an... Oh, oh, that yeah, small of a clock it. working. That's super funny. Yeah, oh, a single clock can can work, although you have to have it at a really, really precise angle where you can still grab onto it and then mm -hmm. use it to get onto the ledge. Um, but often, more often than not, you just need a little bit more height from the, yeah. from the first one. The difference between the two is probably only half a second, which is why yeah. people should do I mean, it. I personally use the method of, like, bringing it up high and then using it as a ramp. I feel like that's a really nice method, especially if you do it perfectly. It's, like, really, really satisfying. Mm -hmm. Did the light during all my matches so far where you learned Blind Maze last night? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just letting you know, Zhao. Um, oh. You know what? Jao? Zhao? Jai. I don't know. Jaya. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's a Brazilian spelling, so I'm going to mm -hmm. mess it up. But, uh, for reference, I think I'm probably the highest person on the leaderboards who doesn't do blind maze, uh, mm -hmm. even now. Although I haven't yeah. looked at all the runs. It's it's, Although, it's my point of pride. Literally, like, um, it's so crazy to see, because when I first saw your, your runs, it was so crazy to see how people have been improving and getting into this game, because when Sam's and I... 363 did his first um, top 25 mashup. You were 25th. And yeah, now I'm see, like 60 uh, something, aren't I? <laughs> 67. Are, let me see. You were 71st. 71st, yeah. So at some point I have to make an improvement. And I think I mean. George, I, how, I, dare, how dare you explain? I'm not going to. You, you explain me. Just like fast <laughs> Get dunked on. Damn. Is GDQ even doing oh, a Captain Toad treasure tracker oh, they're probably over doing... super liminal? It's a, oh, it's a... They... Captain Toad is a puzzle game. I mean, I don't want to. I think they're doing a, a, a hot fix show right now. I think it's yeah. some. But... I think it's Cutie Roo show. I'm pretty sure it's Cutie Roo show. I could be wrong on that though. Mm -hmm. Captain, it slaps probably as a casual game, but as a speed game, are there any sweet where you can clip into things? And Who knows? is there a category where they don't do any of well, those Well, you things? know, Gally, maybe not Spare everything has one. to be glitchy. Maybe not everything <laughs> has to be glitchy. The, the, most of the appeal of this game is how janky it is, and you know it. You know it, I know it. <laughs> I, I, the, the aesthetic is fine. The story is horrendous. The <laughs> mechanics are cool, but the jank is what turns this game from a B to an A+. Mm, I, well, yeah, there's not much of a story. I think the message behind it is nice, though. It's nice. Stories, stories horrendous in this game. I I was looking forward to this game for like ten years, like because I could, I heard about the demos that they had made back in 2012, and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be such a good game. And then they, I finally got an email, and I was like, oh man, this is gonna be such a good game. And then I finished it like two hours later, and the story was bad. And I'm like, well, okay, well, at least the mechanics are cool. Here's a speed run. And, uh, and so, yeah, Tenobo needs to make that. Oh, Tenobo really, really patient with that room. I think honestly, pushing <laughs> yeah, my cut too. Up. I think yeah. Pushing might have caught up just because of uh, Tenobo. Tenobo yeah, the timers ahead. are different, but like no, Pushin's if you look at Pushing's timer, it's four, it's four seconds of difference, so even though they're lined up, it's mm. still, um, before Tenobo's still they four were, seconds ahead. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they, they were behind by 15 seconds, but they might have caught up all of that by not resizing the fan. So yeah, that's just a mistake that's really hard to, because that is literally the sunk cost fallacy that's like, I could make this work. Work. I have to make this work. I spent so much time making this work. Oh, yeah, but not getting in. Okay, sh 
Sheen is. Oh sure. gosh, that sunk caused fallacy as well. Sheen is now ahead. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let's see what Pusheen does when they go through this door. It should be. 1402. Wait, wait, what? Tenobo. 1402. 1402. Going... How is Tenobo still ahead? Oh, I must have missed something. Oh, maybe the sizing was off because they squ they squoze in through the doors. So they were as big as possible going into or Tenobo as big as possible going into the bouncy castle. No, the, you, the, thing, the thing that I'm most confused about is the fact that into the the locker room before the bouncy castle they were four seconds apart, and now they're like six seconds apart. Even though Tenobo spent a good amount of time in the bouncy castle room, he still saves time. But she lost time. Pusheen might have lost some time on something that I might have, we might have, I mean, now it's a three second difference. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I was almost entirely looking at, at Pusheen's screen. So I, I think I they're didn't. trying to sync up the IGT right now. Um, oh, let's see how they do. Um, I think it's skip. almost there. Okay, so I don't know the audio skip cue. Uh, error analysis complete. Tonobo got it. Tonobo got the first. And Tonobo uh, got it. Pusheen also got it, right? Pusheen also got it, yeah. And then the next one is improved hypothesis. Or no. no way this is a tie incoming. Absolutely not going to happen. It would be wild, but it'd be down to a tenth of a second. And uh, I genuinely don't. Ooh, yep. It's a little Jean, the time loss. Oh, janky soda can. My favorite. Um, what do we do in case of a tie? I don't want to think about that because the likelihood of it happening is like one in a million. I don't know the actual statistics, but like. Um, what I, I it's, we'll it's worry about that more. We will yeah. we will cross that bridge when we get to it. If we get to it, I wh what I would say is personally, I'd give both people a point. That's that's what I would do. I wouldn't say discount it. I'd say it's a game that's a success for both players. But I'm not the one who's come up with the point system for this tournament. No, so but here's the thing: if they're if they're one and one, and then. Yeah, then they they're two and tie. two. Or so if they're two and two and then they tie, well then it's like hitting a foul ball in baseball. You just say don't count it, you have to do another match. Which means that these tournament matches can go on infinitely, assuming that they tie a bunch of times, but you know, no Theoretically, happen, right? like tennis. <laughs> it just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> tennis. Yeah. Alright, so Tenobo going down the hallway. The landing on a 631, 631. Okay, and, and then and Shushin landing at a 40, so it's a nine second difference now. Nine second difference. They, they, here's, I'm kind of impressed Very close. still because like they have never been more than 10 seconds apart. They were over 15 seconds apart. Um, really? Out of blackout because mm. Pushin had a difficult time with the blackout maze, but Tenobo lost some time. Even then, uh, that's still pretty impressive, though. Yeah, it's, it's very close. Very close. The streams are staying and staying so nice. Yeah, it's actually possible to commentate this one instead of having people minutes behind. I'm closing on the stairs there? Nice. Well, it might be closer. Let's see. It's, it was 11 9. Have you ever nine. messed this up in a run before? Uh, which part? <laughs> this, this puzzle right here. Like the hallway? Um, where you have to look down. I'm sure. Way. I'm. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't think there's ever a PB that I've had this messed up in, although I, I have to look at a bunch of videos to check. I... I don't know. They keep changing this puzzle every time there's a new patch, so it's it's hard for me to tell whether the behavior is the same every time. Yeah, I think the, the solution is always the same, but like they, they've definitely had little... The solution's always the changes. same, but the, the things that they change are... They make the, the, the light used to... Instead of flashing green, it used to be solid red. Um, the way that they blocked up the doors was they used a brick wall instead of changing it to no entry. It was two doorways. Okay. A bunch, a bunch they, of other. They, they also didn't stuff. use to have like the ding sound, like the ding that you got yes, it right. They did not have the ding sound. That puzzle has screwed up people for a long time. I mean, I posted a video about doing a skip in that section, and there were so many comments that were like, "This is not how you do it intended. I don't know how to do it intended." That I had to list the intended solution mm. in the description of the video. It's just, it's such a, it's the only puzzle that that some people are just gonna get and some people yeah. aren't in this game. True. Is it 
Is there a good way to aim for this one, or do people just mm, guts it? I kind of just guts it. I feel like someone needs to come up with a good lineup for this, but I, for the most part, it's it, kind of feel for a thing. 18, 47, 4 seconds. Four seconds. This, could, this could still be anyone's game. Yeah, um, White Space has a lot of things like she's them the chess piece right stuff that, that'll catch people. Uh, Paradox. I mean, yeah, you you can lose a lot of time on Paradox. It's sad when you do. Um, you grab to the boxes. Okay. Nope. She she had a very look to. Oh, it was very clean for a second. Ah, oh, I shouldn't say anything. All right. <clears throat> Probably comparable between the two. Yeah. Very, 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 very close. Uh, Pushing has been behind almost the entire match. If anyone so can get, if anyone can guess both of their times correctly, I will cash up you five dollars. Five dollars? I'll cash up you a hundred. <laughs> List them in the chat right now. I'll, I'll show up, Osborne. He's a chud. He's only willing to give five bucks for the most improbable thing possible. You're right. I am a chud. I didn't say chump. Ch I should use the word chump more often. I like that word. <laughs> I called you a chud for reference. Chud? What, is that what does that even mean? It's a variation on chump. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't actually know. I should. Okay, yeah, we see reset checkpoint from Tenobo. I'm assuming we're both runners. I'm, I'm sure they both get it. It's not a terribly difficult trick. I have seen people miss it in the past. Though. Here's what? The thing, like it's, it's, it's what, labeled. Why? Oh, why? Just, why? That literally loses time because by switching the directions, you have a less optimal line, and so now it's good meme, but it loses like half a second. Well, it's good meme. Listen, have you done? Me. Have you seen any of Wars' run? Wars says a bunch of things that are just meme. Granted, not a lot of them do time, but still. Uh, I have not, maybe. I'll have to see. They are synced up IGT, so... Yep. Thank you to the restreamer for syncing them up. Yeah, they are. Bit for bit. So yeah, it's just gonna come down to... Who's ahead? Yeah, so... The fact they're pushing oh, behind... I guess, oh, I guess if it wasn't T. Harrison, it was probably Jio that did it. Sorry, Man. sorry, Jaya. Thank you. Thank <laughs> way, you Jaya. Way, to, way to recognize our hardworking uh, restreamers and directors. Manual. Wow. Is bringing the soda actually a time save? It, no. it. Oh shoot. Wait, what? Oh shoot! I didn't even think about this. This might be brilliant. Although the time no, spent but, turning no, around. Like, yeah, okay, I mean, so it's just, it has to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. No, but it is funny. Now, if they brought the soda can with them through this light switch, then they'd be disqualified. Mm -hmm. yeah, it would save time. That's... It would save time. That is a max of flex, though. I, I've i never seen that before. No, yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 it should be the exact same amount of time between the two strands. Yeah, okay, so I think if Tenova gets these next two strands... Um, this, is, this, is, this is game. It's, this is game, it's yeah. a big. It's a big if. Because uh, a lot of people can easily mess up chess piece. The chess piece is a, is an easy way to mess up, and and yet, yeah, G skip is finicky. G skip is easy to recover from the chess piece because chess piece you have to start. You have, you're forced to literally start all over. Yeah. Okay, just single chess piece. Doesn't grab it early though. Okay, well, that gives. Sheen a little oh. bit of extra wiggle. God. Oh, God. there it is. There it is. Oh my God. There it is. Oh my there God. it is. Oh there it God. is. It's happening, folks. It's happening, folks. All hands on deck. It's happening. We have oh. a reversal. Poosh is lightly ahead. Wait, now. wait, wait, wait. We still have cheese skip. We still have cheese skip. We still have cheese skip, but it's going to be neck and neck, I think. Oh. Oop. Oh, okay, oh. This, should, this should be good. It's a little vague, but... Oh, yep, good. That's it. I think Pushing... No, good. I think I think Pushing's ahead. I think Pushing's... Is pushing Pushin is ahead. Pushing's game. Yep. Unless Pushing does that awful launch that occasionally happens if you let go of the block that gets grabbed here. If you let this go of PS it when it's under you. 
This is a PSA, oh. never let go of the block. Never let go of the block, yeah. Game literally came down to chess. Yes, that's how close it was. Wow. Oh, let, let's go of it, even. Wow. GG. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen the black fall faster than the person who's falling. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, holy smokes, that was close. Very good. <sighs> very, Dang. very good. All right. 2353. Pushing wins. First match. Yep. GG. I mean, I did think that this was going to be a close match between the two because they're close in season. Yes. I did not think it was going to be that close the entire way through. I, I'm, I'm getting worried that the runners do not want to break and that we're just going to go straight into round two. Let's go. Let's do it. Wonderful. <sighs> This is great. It's so I feel like it's very ironic how within the community glitchless is such a huge thing. And yet outside of the community, glitchless is not. Um, because every single like for when it comes to like major marathons, say GDQ ESA, the only thing the only time that they've ever actually accepted um super liminal into their marathons has actually been a warpless category for example warpless or all collectibles they never actually um su submitted glitchless we, we submit glitchless to like huge events but usually the more large end events only only select warpless stuff i know crispr did warpless at gdq 2020 at sgdq 2020 and then mm -hmm. one of the runners did warpless at esa winter 2020 and then of course, um, Hippinator did all collectibles at ESA summer 2021. Well, they yeah, were very, re yeah. yeah, very recently. And it's um, because like a lot of a lot of like smaller marathons obviously pick wishless. Um, but it's when it comes to like large and visibility, a lot of people would prefer a lot of people prefer to see warpless, which I feel like is very interesting in comparison to what we have in the community, I mean, where the majority of people like to do glitchless. It, it makes sense to me. It's very easy to, as, as someone who spends a lot of time commentating runs for various marathons, it's a lot easier to explain tricks than it is to explain the game. And Glitchless doesn't have a lot of tricks. There's very small things that are present, and they tend to be things that save very little amounts of time. Whereas Warpless is extremely flashy, right? I mean, you skip the entirety of Labyrinth with a load things that's already way more fascinating than almost anything you could explain in glitchless other than like maybe cheese skip i don't know like it, what it basically comes down to is is warpless is much more of a crowd pleaser than glitchless would ever be even though glitchless has been the community's choice due to how much more skill based instead of luck based it is so that's very true it's very true and glitchless is just so much more approachable and has such a higher skill ceiling than say warpless i'd say yeah, Warpless is a lot more of a luck of... I mean, Warps is an extremely luck of a draw run. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think really anyone's figured it out. <laughs> How bad would Oz get if we start playing chess and Twitch chat with moves? I would ban um, all of you. Uh, hold on. Oh, pushing soft lock. Oh, really? Oh yeah. my god. The, the, yeah, that's the a rough start. Down. The sign fell down. <laughs> Also, Jeez. shout out to Tenobo for getting a 153 induction. My God, that's that's wild for a start. Yeah, so Pusheen is going to be working extremely hard to to make it back from that. Mm -hmm. um, two, I got three. Yeah, there's no reason to not play that. Anyway, on two, <laughs> I, I I don't have a board in front of me, so I'm just trying to imagine what my openings are. Um, I, I don't have any, for reference, I don't have any openings. I, I, the best thing that I have is I memorized how to play the fried liver attack is black because I hate that opening so much and I still don't want to do it. So anyways, sorry, this has nothing to do with whatever the heck we're doing. <laughs> what was the final time for um, Tenobo in the last round? Uh, Tenobo was a 24, uh, well, let's see, we had a 23, 54? from Pusheen, mm -hmm. 
So I think it was a 2402. I think it was eight or nine seconds between them. 2402, 2403. Mm -hmm. 2254 for Pusheen. That's three seconds off of their PB. That's really good. Wow. Holy smokes, really? Wow, yeah. that's phenomenal. Yeah, I'm looking at their PBs right now. Um, currently, Pusheen has a PB of 2351, and Shinobu has a PB of 2329. They're really close still. The door strat do anything? I've asked this question like three times, but the door strat in um, optical, does it even mm -hmm. matter? It um it saves a small amount of time because you can use a door as a ramp and then jump on it instead of going up the stairs. It does save some time. Not uh, not as much time. I mean, there's even a faster way where you can go up the left side of that big wall instead of the right side up the stairs. Um, found by Ice, but no one really uses it. No one really uses it in run because like it's 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 really precise. Mm hmm. Glenn Pierce, <sighs> Doctor Glenn Pierce, whatever. Um, yeah, most of this. Yeah, most. I mean, yeah, Machine is basically fighting against having soft locked in the most unfortunate way. <laughs> Wait, does anyone? Four <laughs> <laughs> ten point nine. Oh my god, optical. George. Yeah, four ten. Point nine optical. Yeah, so Pusheen is working with 20 seconds. Oh, someone in the broadcast. I have a chess account, a uh, chess.com account. Hit so me up I. and blow it. Um, let me see here. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the board. Whoever whoever um wins this round has to go up against, go up against Ducky in the next the next match. Ducky. You got Ducky. third in seating. <laughs> oh geez. PB of a 2149. Or 2146 actually, I think is the is the real PB. I'm like 90% sure. And then whoever loses this match has to go down to um loser uh, 14. Has to go down to match number 38 where they will be up against the loser of 22. So either Evelyn or Ostomy. Oh god. It's not going to be easy for either of them, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Here's the thing, Ostomate has been getting, like, mid-23s in, in the... In the, in the matches. In, yeah. in matches. So I think either of them could go up against Ostomate, because the, like, Ostomate has been... Which is weird, because, the like, despite that, Ostomate has been getting, like, amazing IL times. Um, and... Mm -hmm. Like, he grinds pretty well for this game. Like, his PB is a 22-27, I believe, or, or that. And, like, you can see that he's come up with a lot of really good organizations and stuff like that. And he even got, like, Blackout. He does forward blind maze instead of backwards blind maze. Yep. He was the first person implementing that. Like, he does a lot of grind. Like, sure, he gets mid-23s in, in tournament runs, but his grind, his grind set, his grind mindset has been absolutely amazing. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a lot of different play styles. I mean, you'll have people who can very consistently get, you know, mid 22s, and then you'll have people who very consistently get 23s, but their PB is a minute ahead of that because they got very lucky or they they went for all the and and you know it's consistency versus peak and marathons are more designed for people who are about consistency. So you're right. Uh, Ostomate might even though. They're very good with the with the ILs, like I've noticed. Uh, might have a difficult time against either of these competitors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very true. I've only uh, yeah. Have we haven't seen any forfeits here? Right. That's probably no. no we, we haven't seen we any definitely um, in the seating match we had people forfeit, but no, we didn't have because... people forfeit. It's just that people like in the middle of a match they didn't have to forfeit. As long as I'm concerned, but um they um. We did have unfortunate dropouts due to higher elements, like before matches started or in the middle of, or before brackets started, we did have a few mm -hmm. runners who obviously I won't name. They did drop out, unfortunately, due to higher elements, or just didn't feel like they were it personally. Um, and that's completely fine. Um, hopefully they can join us the next time when they're you know, a bit more in the mood. Or, oop. Whoa. That was very- Hold up. Does Tenobo oh. not have V-Sync on? 
Oh, sh shoot. Someone should like to know that the V-Sync is entirely the best op. Well, unless unless he's playing with uh, a 144 monitor. Yeah. So the the I thing think is, that, I, think that, I think that brought them back together. Like the oh wow, like the, soft, the soft lock that Pushing had in induction doesn't matter anymore. They're they're like seven forty one around this corner, seven forty three. Yeah, it's two seconds between the two. That's that's the difference. Wow. That's a that's a dumb way to lose a lot of time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna dunk on Tenobo for the next fifteen minutes. Turn on VSync, everybody, because everyone there's okay. Having a uh, lower FPS leads to higher jumps. Don't like cheese it too hard. Don't like VSync down to thirty or whatever. Even though that would be hilarious. Oh man, now I gotta try that. Anyways, yeah. um, Here's don't like, VSync that. We as a community have like routed everything out of our tricks around 60 FPS, especially for warpless and especially for glitch categories, um, because mm -hmm. of the way that the launches work. The higher the launch, the higher the FPS, yes. the higher the launch. Um, and so I just, we have all collectively agreed, run on 60 FPS, please, and yes. have VSync on. Rules don't say anything, so I'm going to change my monitor to only allow 15 FPS, and I'm going to start <laughs> getting sweet high jumps where I don't need to land on the barrister before optical. I can make that jump directly. I think in a lot yes, of FPS, but, you just can do that. But um, the thing is that FPS also negatively affects your ledge grabs and stuff like that. And so you you have higher jumps, sure, but like it's at the cost of like potentially throwing something. So, so you're saying you'll, you'll, you'd allow it. If, if I got a, like a 21XX without even trying on 15 FPS, y'all would be fine with that. As a former you verifier, be. as a former verifier and owner of this Discord, what would you say? <laughs> I, I'd say it's a different category, but um, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't verify our own runs would anymore. Even be, would that even be a thing that people ran? Would we even, like, would that even be a thing that we need to have different FPS categories? It's, it's, so we're not the a, you, we are not the talent. You, you have the category that. extensions, don't you? Or true, but like, how different would it be? No. It might be, a, I, I said 21xx for a reason, because that's significantly shorter than my PV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How close this race is. It keeps happening. It keep, this is the closest match out, because I commented at a match where the... This this, yeah, three seconds. What were you going to say? I, com I commented at a match um, between Bagel and Pathetic, where their seeding times were off by like 0.6 seconds, and their matches weren't even this close. It's it's wild. One FPS run. I you know what? If there was to be like a a low FPS cate category extension, I think the best way to handle it, and uh, this is just me, just spitting it out, is uh, if you were to allow people to just set their FPS to whatever using. Um, Oh, what's the name of that program? It's that one program that lets you like set your FPS to something to whatever, and so you just do it with hotkeys. And so like right before you do a jump, you set it to one FPS, and then you change it back to sixty once you're done. The problem. With the jump. Here's the thing. The the thing. I mean, like I I literally only compare it to the Talos principle because that's the only thing that I have to compare it to. Yes. Is I know with the Talos principle, like there are certain tricks that the higher the FPS, the more jank the physics are, and so you can, like. Then we're to have the like most optimal speed run. Sometimes you just like have oh. to have VSync off and hope that your PC can um, handle. The That's the categories I run. I, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah, I think it's yeah. a bad decision. I think they shouldn't have allowed it. But at the same time, it's only really affected the meme category that has high FPS. But I'm saying for a category extension, just allow whatever. I I think uh, on main leaderboards, you do have to be a little bit more like choosy and how you allow things to ha happen but in category extension i feel like it'd be way more fun if you were like yeah i'm gonna set it to 8 fps to make this trick way easier or whatever Your 2016 has glitches that don't work it unless you're 200 fps i run the talus principle where there's some tricks that are only possible with 500 fps if you're lucky um, oh, by the way gally mate you're gonna see me in the talus principle discord soon i didn't want to oh yeah that. you join him finally all yeah. right yeah. 500 yeah no i um it's a train wreck of a category, but it's it's the only one that I can run because I have a 5950X, and so I'm going to use it to its full potential. Mm -hmm. It's a funny category. It's thankfully not super competitive for the time being, but yeah, no, I, I, super high FPS stuff. I I feel like, especially because of how hardware dependent it is, it's. I'm glad that this game doesn't. Ha a there's a reason why Glitchless should be as popular as it is. I'm glad that. 
Um, IFPS doesn't rule the day in this game like it might in other games. I would agree. I think like on main category, like there, when it comes to certain categories, of, like 60 FPS um, should be like the standard. And that's like yeah. why people, that's why Talos Principle has 60 FPS categories. That's why we yes. always recommend that we run, run at 60 FPS. Although I do think that for certain FPS is like say 50 FPS or 70 FPS, it would make certain run, so it would make certain launches better in Warbliss. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I don't know. I, I think it's basically up to whatever. Yeah, it's it's a pay-to-win leaderboard. We're aware, but this was a mistake that was made before I even joined the Talos Principle, and that was in 2016. So at this point, it's just like to ban it would be lame as heck. Is, is basically what it comes down to. And everyone sort of agreed that as long as it doesn't affect the stuff we care about, it's whatever. Oh, geez, that's a little closer, machine. Okay. Really Bonobo having a really slow time on this fan once again. Oh boy, this might cost the match. The second cost fallacy. Once yeah. <laughs> Although Tonobo is really good at window resizing. That's the thing. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, so Doll Dollhouse is one of those levels where you can lose 10 seconds for what feels like no reason. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like. Another thing on the FPS thing is like I run antichamber, which is uh, mm -hmm. I'm very interested in this conversation. Yes, um, go ahead. I run I run antichamber, and so we have a a 60 FPS cap, and so I started running 100%, which involves you getting all of the pink cubes, and like the pink cubes move faster if you don't have an dude if you have uncapped FPS, like significantly mm -hmm. faster. Like so yep. much so that I was comparing my time to the world record time that was brought back in 2013, right? In 2013, they didn't have that 60 FPS cap because they didn't know enough about the game to actually make that decision. Um, right. And so I was comparing. I was like, "How does this person a full minute ahead of me?" And then I come. We compared times, and then by the uncapped FPS alone, he has 34 seconds ahead of me. And then I got the world record just because I changed different because it was like an outdated route right um, right so I started implementing a lot of stuff but like yeah. 30 it was a full 34 seconds i was using the same route it was a full 34 seconds ahead of me oh. purely because the pink cubes move faster uh, because of uncapped fps looking at 0.6 seconds here mm -hmm. oh my gosh very close yeah no i mean the whole fps thing fps changes a lot more than it than it should honestly mm -hmm. uh but Game developers have to make oh, decisions. Wait, that Tenobo are... doesn't. So why didn't Tenobo go oh. for it? Okay, uh, you, uh, you, know, you gotta retry. Um, or that skip sometimes. Because right. a lot of people like fall down and then um, just give up. Just give up. But like you can retry because the you, the, the audience is farther away than you think it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, sure. There is a race going skips. on. We're, we're, there, there, there is a race going on, by the way. We're not just talking about FPS caps. For yeah, I, 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 I'm aware. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. so Tenobo is down probably seven seconds fully now. Because mm -hmm. they were 0. 0.6 seconds apart previously. 32. Jeez. And then. 35, 36. 30? 38.3. There's six seconds yeah. apart. Yep. Which makes sense. That's about yeah, that's as much approximately time how much the first one saves. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I think there was some movement error in there on pushing tab because usually I think I think it was confirmed that the first one does save exactly eight seconds and then the second one saves fifty. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that. Interesting. I've been given different numbers every time I've asked. So eight and fifteen. All right, I'll keep that in mind until someone corrects me. Uh. That was a very smooth painting. I, so the the painting, I'm I'm shocked every time I see a good one, because I I don't think I've ever seen a good one when I would run, where you can just sort of rotate it over and jump on the bed. Very good performance from Pooch. Mm -hmm. The jump here doesn't grab the door, so gonna be losing a little bit of time on the way down. Mm-hmm. True. Uh -huh. Let's see if Tenoba gets early door crab. Uh, oh yeah. Could have jumped off the top for a little bit more, yeah. but. It's very, very minor difference. Definitely. Although People one thing from... I find interesting. Yeah. So we what need to ahead? talk about this. I need to talk about this because this is a mistake people keep making for whatever reason. When they 
you go into the gap here for all the French. They aim for the middle. But what you really want to do is you want to fall down as fast as possible, and then while you're falling, turn to the to the right, because you are that should save time. Because it's a, you want to have a straight line, so you're falling as soon as possible, and then you want to start turning to the right so that you can aim for the stairs. That's the fastest movement instead of aiming directly for it and then waiting for the fall. So, um, wait, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is this is I something. I make that mistake as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure A Rock or, or someone else has done the calculations and found the exact place to start moving off, but there there, there needs to be a little bit of uh, nuance because most people don't. Oh my god, wait. We can buy followers, primes, and viewers on that link that nobody should click. Please don't click it. Yeah, Again? Wait, two for two? What? Don't, don't click, don't click. Don't click, yeah, please, please don't click. Please don't click on any accounts. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jio. This chat this channel, this channel is popular, right? I've only ever had two. <gasps> oh my account, god, so. the bot whispered me the link too! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, it whispered Speedy Liminal, not me specifically. Oh, okay. Oh, getting caught on the painting there for Tenova. Tenova is just getting caught on a lot of small stuff. It sucks. That painting, I. I don't remember the last time I got caught on that painting. Mm -hmm. It's just weird that it has collision like that. Sometimes I, it doesn't have collision until it hits the ground. It's the problem. Because Successful. I've seen PBs where people walk through it. Yeah. So it, it has like conditional collision. They want us to get affiliate. I think uh, this channel probably won't get affiliate. Sorry, no, we we, we 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 qualify for it, but we just don't really see any purpose. Of it. There's no there's no point. You're you're yeah. exactly correct. Um, oh man, Tenobo just having the roughest time. This is such a, a bummer way. Jeez, pain emote. I suppose you could check emotes on there if you're affiliate. Let's see, what are we what are we looking at for? I see that Jaya is trying to manually. I think Jaya was trying to sync up the IG. Test. Oh, it's okay. It synced up perfectly. Uh, okay, yeah. So 1926 is when the floppy disk appeared on Pusheen. Uh, Thirty-eight. So it's twelve seconds between them. Twelve seconds. All right. So again, chess can make the difference. We've seen it happen. Um, G skip can make the difference, but we've got a lot of walking to do until we until we hit it. True. I mean, if pushing if messes up G skip, then it's Tenovos, and then or if, if pushing messes up any of the last two strats, it could be Tenovos. I mean, do a third man. Could this be Which another be to three? <laughs> they only have two so far. Really? That's yeah. rough. <laughs> Oof. So no more not going for the soda. Well, if you made a lot of mistakes, you wouldn't do a lot of show off your things either. Jio is our unspoken hero there. It's still decently close. 12, 12 seconds is a lot closer. Although in glitchless, that that can be a chasm. One mistake on one, one, one mistake on chess chessboard, and then yep, it'll absolutely. it'll be neck and neck. <laughs> thunder is still peaking too loud. Can we just add a mod that just changes the thunder sound for? I don't know. Insert your own sound effect here. Anything you want. Baba boy. I don't know. <laughs> The fitness gram patient test is a multi-stage <laughs> aerobic capacity test. That's too test. long. That's too long. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'll just it'll go to... through. It'll go through, and then it'll fade out as you walk into the next room. <laughs> the Taco Bell sound effect. There you go. It can't be that hard to mod this game. It's a Unity game. I'll... Autobots I'll rolled out. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, Ducky, hello. We were just talking about you and about Ducky, how the winner of this match will compete you with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever wins this match has to go against Ducky. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. Came down to the weird launch. It came down to a lot of things. I mean, Pusheen lost time. I mean, it was the audio skip fail. It was having difficulty going through the painting. Um, yeah, it's not just paradox. because Tonobo was still ahead after that launch. So mm-hmm. it was still, still could have been his game. It was quite a few things. All right, looking at chessboard here. Oof. All right. I always find it very nerve-wracking when people do it like that. When they do it instead of piece, instead of like tile by tile, they um mm-hmm. just rapidly move it throughout the board. They just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it should be the same thing no matter what. But, but yes. Theoretically, yeah. Although, and, and I'm very proud of finding this strat, the most optimal way of doing it is by walking backwards and then jumping and putting the piece underneath you. Oh, and it'll progressively get small. It'll progressively get smaller as it goes around the chest piece, and it goes around the chest board. The chest board, um, yeah. but, it's, but since you're not like turning around constantly, you don't lose any velocity. Mm-hmm. Oh my lord. Yep. Yeah. I think this is it, so... I mean, we, we did there's still a possible mistake at the end here, but Pusheen had a very clean ending here, so... Um, we'll be looking at another sub-24 from the both of them, I think, but... <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. GG's to everybody. Well, very close the entire way through. I was expecting it to be a three-matcher, but... Mm-hmm. 2338 from Pusheen. Pusheen, GD's Pusheen. will now go up to winner's bracket round two, where they will be against mm-hmm. Ducky Cat. Ducky Cat. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely could have easily went either way, for sure. Um, and I'm seeing that. Welcome, the, nerds. Hello. Um, Welcome. The runners is... are going to have a wonderful, wonderful. Um, Conversation. Interview. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. If I'm if I'm right, Pusheen, you just PB'd by like 15 seconds. I oh, yeah. I PB'd by like 10 seconds because yeah, I've, I've had other PBs like off stream and stuff. But it is a very good PB, good especially PB. considering that I fricked up induction really bad. I mean, yeah. you fricked up a lot of things. Well, okay. I well, well okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know I freaked up quite a few Just things. the absolute um, savagery. I'm sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> GG to the both of you is extremely close through both matches. I don't think we saw a difference of 15 seconds. Uh, yeah, like more GG. than 15 seconds through the entire thing. Uh, Tsunobo had the most of the first match until the the chess mistake. The chess and that, that was it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it is what it is. Um, and then this, the second match, there was a, it was it was a lot more complicated. But I, mm-hmm. I think Pusheen had it by by, by Dollhouse. So, yeah. uh, how do y'all both feel about that? Uh, about the match? How, how how did it go? It was so because like right after the first uh, the first round, right after I finished, I think they they undefined us and they're like, all right, you want to go to round two? And I was like, oh damn, they were waiting on me. Oh no! And then <laughs> after this round, I asked him. I was like, "What's the what's the score?" And they were like two zero, and I was like, "Oh no!" Oh, I <laughs> Y'all didn't know. No, That's I didn't a... know. <laughs> I had the stream open, but it was like it was like closed, not really open. Jio just uh, Jio just doesn't just doesn't want to didn't want to tell you what the rankings were. Keep in the tension. Just, <laughs> keep the tension. It was. It was especially funny because I I PB by like ten seconds and I was like, dang, I PB by ten seconds and I still lost. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but no, other than that, you know, it was pretty good. Right. Well, outside of the obvious, really crazy mistakes, but. I mean, is there anything in your runs that like stood out to you, whether it be good or bad? Stupid launch and blackout. <laughs> yeah. how, how does that even happen? Um, oh, do you have to be, so do you have decent off. You need to have VSync on for a 60 frame rate monitor in order to avoid launches being so extreme like that. Um, mm. Having VSync on will also give you higher jumps. So 
Uh, I would recommend turning on that setting if you don't have it already. Um, yeah, because the, usually that happens, but like the way that you launch really, really high indicates you probably don't have vSync on, or you do mm -hmm. when you have like a 120 hertz monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the the blackout corners there for a very long time. The it's been known that the collision there, if you take it too close, will launch you because you get stuck between like that middle bar that's on the on the wall and the floor, and so it like shoots you into the floor a little bit, and then you jump up. Something along those lines. So try to avoid those walls and blackout in particular, and those are the only corners that can launch you like that. Yeah, um, I was trying to be careful after my reset. Yeah, it's it's rough. So, you know, here's the thing, like Tonobo, you were you were actually still ahead by four seconds, even with that mistake, because oh, Pushkin damn. had soft lock in induction. Yep. Oh. Uh, the the classic sign fall over. Wait, yeah. Wait, uh, Pushkin, you soft lock in induction and still PB'd by ten minutes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> After the induction soft lock, I was like, well, I just I was kind of through. What are you gonna do? Play it out, I guess. <laughs> and then like in in blackout. I had a really good maze, I think, and yep. then clone. I also saved a bunch of time over my PB in particular. So I was like, oh, yeah. wow, okay. I could actually Everything else looked very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. The audio skips, too. Um, I think you, you lost the first audio skip to Nobo, which is yeah. unfortunate. Um, okay, I think no, you could have redone it even. Yeah, even here's the, the thing. Like, the, 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 the first audio skip is always farther along than you think it is. It's like after the door. And I see in a lot of people where they fall down next to the door and then they just keep going because they think, oh, I didn't get audio skip. You can keep, you can retry it and it still saves time in comparison to like just letting it play out for the future. Okay. Yeah. That's for good to know for when you beat the pants off of that Ostimator or whoever you'll be competing against in the loser's yeah, bracket. Yeah, um, I mean, we've already I'm not said saying it. you're a loser, but they, they named it the loser's bracket, not me. Um, <laughs> well, you will, like, as, as we've discussed, um, pushing since you won this round, you're going to be going against Ducky, the winner's bracket, and um, Tonobo, you're going to be going down to matches. This, this is match number 14. Three. And so you're going to be going up against the uh, loser of match 22, which is either Evelyn or Ostimate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got to start the raid. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, now. Okay, yep. You guys Here's are going. <laughs> Here's the uh, any other points from our runners. Do you have anything else to say? Or we we cool to to move off to uh, Zealous Spice. Uh, thanks to for organizing. Thanks for the games, Tonobo. Yeah, GG. Uh, sorry to George for being loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's all I got. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. GG everyone. GGs. on there's no matches tomorrow no one signed up for the friday slots and so um the next match is going to be 4 p.m eastern standard time saturday february 25th um it's going to be a double header for sergeant bonsai and josher who are in the round one and then the winners back at round two is going to be against Hervatsky and swc 19. so yeah that's going to be on saturday the 26th and also later that day on saturday it's going to be an 8 p.m match between yellow rat and funya tuyen so I hope that you guys um, are present for that. We'll see you guys around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the raid, and we'll we'll see you soon. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> <laughs>